How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The second expansion for Forza Horizon 5 is Rally Adventure. I'm going to tell you all about it in today's video. The new map, the new features, anti-lag, 10 new cars, just everything you need to know. Let's jump straight into it. If you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing. As I said, the expansion is called Rally Adventure and it will release on the 29th of March, which is just over four weeks away, which is within series 18. The map itself is called Sierra Nueva, I think it's called, might have pronounced that, pronounced that wrong. Let's talk a bit about the map before we talk about the features, the races and the teams. The map will feature miles of exciting new roads full of unpredictable steep turns, blind crests, thrilling asphalt jumps. So there's plenty of asphalt roads as well if you're not into dirt and rallying. And more specifically, there's a bunch of biomes as well, which I'll have some pictures of on screen. There is a town called Pueblo Arce, a huge abandoned quarry, epic deformable sand dunes, which sounds cool, the tight and twisting desert gorge, rolling green hills and an entirely smashable palm forest. That sounds quite cool as well. Within the release, there will be some new event lab props as well, including branded barriers, flags, civilian vehicles, allowing you to build new races which really capture a Horizon Rally feel. So how does this expansion work? What's the career mode like? Well, the career mode works with three teams. You pick a team and follow that career path. The teams are Horizon Raptors, which features dirt and off-road events. Grit Reapers, which features street-style night rally events. And finally, Apex Predators, which masters high-speed asphalt rally. So that's road rallying, not off-road. So there is that option, which I will probably be taking if you're not really fond of dirt racing. Once you pick your team that you want to take, you will compete in eight races with your team of choice, with PR stunts along the way, before taking on the leader in an epic ambassador race. It sounds like there's some kind of boss race at the end, which is pretty cool. Complete this on all three teams and you will unlock the Goliath race. The expansion includes the largest number of racing events of any Horizon expansion ever, which is really cool to see. This includes dirt racing, asphalt racing and challenging night races as well, which feature point to point rally races and traditional multi car races as well. Across these races, you'll be getting call outs from your co-driver, which is in a helicopter following you from above, as you've probably seen on screen. There's a bunch of new hood elements as well, such as a mini leaderboard and split times as well. As you're going through sectors, you will get split times of how well you're doing based on your previous sector. I'm sure you, if you watch Formula One, you'll know exactly what I mean. That's pretty cool to see in Horizon 5 as well. I'm going to show you the text on screen if you want to have a pause and read it thoroughly. I'm just giving you the key points. You'll also see icons pop up in the middle of the screen, which are pace notes, which are called by the co-driver in the helicopter, which will sort of talk you through how to get through this route, how to get through this race in the best way possible. So it's not just a load more rally racing. There's a load more features that come with it to really fine tune how good rally racing can be within a video game. It's, it's making me a little bit more interested in rally racing. I'm definitely going to give it a go. Now, the thing that most people are going to want to hear about is the cars and the customization. So we're going to talk about the customization of the rally cars now. They are introducing all new rally parts and an anti-lag system with spectacular flame effects and firecracker audio. How cool does that sound? Launch control has also been added as a new assist for all cars, ensuring that you can pull off the perfect rally start. Now that will presumably apply outside of rallying as well for drag racing. So that's really cool. If you're a drag racer, make the most of that. Which the car can do. I say about because there's always some variables that we can't capture, but I'd say a 95 to 97% it's going to be as, as fast as you can launch. And you said that at the start of a race, launch control is, your car is pushed into launch control, so you just need to hold the accelerator. Yeah, you don't and need to control press the handbrake. Launch. It's auto-engaged for you. So the, so the handbrake, accelerate, release handbrake, that's for free run? Yep, that's just for free run. Okay. Cool. Good distinction. Right. And then I mentioned in the garage uh, the other feature. Uh, our anti-lag is actually built with launch control in mind. They were developed together. Um, so it will build boost uh, while you're on the, the second uh, rev limiter. Um, that's something our cars don't typically do, so launching a very turbocharged car often will bog down, then come on boost, and it's quite hard to launch. Whereas here, it builds boost and goes. There's all that new customization, but there's also 10 new cars as well. Let's take a look at them. We have the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning Platinum, which is an all-electric off-roader. 
580 horsepower, 775 pound feet of torque. It weighs a lot, but it's an electric rally truck. How cool does that sound? We've got the 1973 Hoonigan Volkswagen Baja Beetle Class 5 1600 Scumbug. I've never heard of that car before called the Scumbug. I'm going to drive it just because it's called the Scumbug. The third car is the 2001 Ford Focus RS. I nearly butchered that then. We've got the 2022 Illumi Craft Trick Truck. Has about 525 horsepower, 24 inches of front travel and 30 inches in the rear. That sounds really cool as well. All of these cars have the same kind of rally based theme. We've got the 2021 Polaris RZR Pro XP Factory Racing Limited Edition. That's a mouthful. We've got the 2020 Jimco 179 Hammerhead Class 1. Never even heard of that car, but we're getting it within the second expansion. Another Jimco, the 2019 Fastball Racing Spec Trophy Truck, is also coming to the game. We've got 2019 Cassie Curry Motorsports Ultra 4 Trophy Jeep. Penultimately, we've got the 2021 RJ Anderson Polaris RZR Pro 4 Truck. And finally, the last one, 2021 Illumicraft Class 1 Buggy. Those are the 10 new to Forza cars which are coming to Horizon 5 Second Expansion on the 29th of March. I certainly like the sound of this expansion. I'm really not into rally racing. I'm really not into dirt racing. I'll give it a go and see what these new features like anti-lag, launch control, the helicopter co-pilot really do for me. See if they make it any better. Let me know instantly what you guys think in the comment section below about an update like this. I'm going to leave the video dragging on with some sort of gameplay that I've managed to acquire. Thank you guys very much for watching.